The Vance Wahlberg era tipped off yesterday. He was formally introduced at a packed press conference. So many people in one room to hear from the Bulldogs' new basketball head coach. We spoke with Wahlberg afterward about what this job means and what he wants to do with it. Gabe Camarillo, Fox 26 News, with the new men's basketball coach, Vance Wahlberg. Vance, what was the moment you found out that you were the new coach? I actually found out about 525, 530 Saturday morning. My phone pinged, and it was an email from the search committee with the contract, and it was a great feeling. A moment more than 20 years in the making, your fourth try at this. Why did you keep trying? I love the game. I love the Valley, and I really feel I can really make Fresno State something special. Now, what can Fresno State basketball fans expect from Wahlberg basketball? I think you're going to see a great, exciting style of play. Pressure defense, pressure offense. What I mean by that is I like putting pressure on the other team both ways. Pushing the ball, putting pressure, and then defensively get out in the lanes. I think it's going to be a really fun style for them to see. You are looked at as the father of the dribble drive offense. John Calipari uses your stuff. Nate Oates uses your stuff. How did you make these connections? Honestly, when I created, I didn't create the dribble drive for the sake of creating. It just happened through all my years of seeing different coaches and what made our team the best at that time. And then from that, it just opened up the doors for me to work with not only Coach Cal or, or Nate. Actually, if you want to know the truth, when I tell you how hard Nate worked, and we talked about a special story when I was the head coach at Pepperdine. Nate was a high school coach. Okay, he came out to watch. He came and he said, do you mind if I come out and watch your practices? And then we communicated a whole bunch of times before that, after that, and then watching his success where he went from an assistant to the head coach, the next head coach to Alabama, which is, for me, it's really neat to see. You mentioned your time at Pepperdine almost two decades ago. How different is college basketball now since you last coached in D1? It's different, you know, the NIL and the portal. Um, but again, the game's the same. It's just, you got to go get good players. <laughs> you know, they all want the opportunity to go to the next level, and I understand that. And then I think with the staff that we have, that we're going to be able to really help them get to that level. You mentioned in the press conference that you can't do much without NIL support. What does it take from you to get that NIL support from the community? Just me doing my job of being out there. I got to meet with the different boosters, go to this function, go to that function, and just, you know, shake hands and thank them and hope that they're, you know, they like what they see and they support us. So NIO is one thing, but you also want to recruit players based off of the style of basketball. What is attractive about your type of play to a recruit? Well, again, most players want to get to the next level. So for them, they want to be able to have the ball in their hand and be able to do certain things. And I think the f type of offense we run, the free-flowing offense, it gives them that ability. If you're a guy that can really get to the hoop, this is the offense you want to be in. If you're a guy that can shoot the heck out of the ball, you know we're going to shoot threes. Yeah. We're going to get that up. So I think it really, it's, if you watch the NBA now, a lot of it's what we're doing. You know, back when I started it, way back then, the NBA used to be two guards, Two forwards, a power forward, and a big guy, two guys inside. Now now you watch the way the game's evolved, and you see where maybe there might be one inside, maybe one big. Now sometimes there's no bigs in there, and I really think that the game has changed a lot. And in the transfer portal, a lot of former Bulldogs, any of them reach out to you about maybe coming back on the team? Yes, but I want to keep that between us. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it happens. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel, where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.